I signed the lease and I haven't seen it yet. This is actually crazy heavy. I am meeting up with two very special people. I just bought the gifts. I'm so excited. These are the people I wanted you guys to meet. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mai. I'm 19 years old. I'm Vietnamese, but I grew up in Canada my whole life and then I moved out when I was 15 because, you know, I was rebellious. No, I got kicked out. <laughs> and then I moved to LA on my own when I was 17 and I just turned 19, but we're moving out of this house. So um, make sure to subscribe to be a part of the family. I got that tattooed on me when I was like in my rebellious phase when I was 14. You know, family, my last name, because I really thought I was going to make it big on YouTube. So thank you for watching my videos because if you didn't, then I would just have this ugly ass tattoo on me. She was an overachiever. She believed in herself too much. Anyways, you can unsubscribe later if you like end up not liking me, by the way. Anyways, so I'm moving out of this house. Now I know you guys may be like, my, you literally move every week. What are you doing? If you don't know, I don't know how many moving series I've done on this channel. Maybe like five now. Well, we're moving again, okay? But I've lived here for a year now and I'm finally moving out. I say finally, but look, this place is gorgeous, okay? But we're on to bigger and better things. Not bigger. I don't know about better, but we're on to things, okay? And I'm gonna take you along the journey. Dude, why do I look like Billy Ray Cyrus or something with like a mullet? Um. This video is sponsored by Heads. I'm kidding, no. I'm so sorry if y'all hate me right now. Like, it's okay, you can click off. I would really appreciate it if you don't, but I haven't really talked too much about, no, I have talked about me moving, but it's like, I put it off for so long, right? And then I'm so indecisive. So I've looked at maybe 20 apartments now and it got to the point where I was so stressed out that I literally just signed a lease on an apartment that I haven't even seen yet. I saw it online and I told them I wanted it and I signed the lease and I haven't seen it yet. Is that an issue? Probably, but that's gonna be something that I solve when I um, get to see the apartment, but I haven't even seen it yet. So we're not even gonna think about that right now. We love a girl that like makes impulsive decisions. Like, wow, she's so like crazy. When he says he's into crazy girls. Ew! Someone needs to take some chloroform and just I've talked to you guys on the spam account about like helping me pick an apartment and stuff like that But I haven't shown you guys yet because that's gonna be a big reveal Y'all want to know what day I signed my lease for January 15th. You want to know what day it is right now? January 9th I don't know if you can see behind me. Yeah, I haven't started moving yet So that's basically what this vlog is So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already again Like I said if you end up hating me you can unsubscribe. Click to join the family and comment down below if you join because I will like your comment. Go read the comments right now. Did I like them all? Yes, why? Because I don't have friends and um, you guys basically are my best friends. So I don't have any text to read. So I read my comments instead. All around me are familiar faces. Oh my God, it's my new blender. <gasps> I have so many packages. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm currently headed to Home Depot right now to go get some boxes because I went to Office Depot last week and they were trying to charge me six Holy crap, someone give me LASIK eye surgery like I'm about to be lying, oh my god. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> ADHD things. <laughs> She's so quirky, like so relatable. I need to shut up. I literally have two moods. It's either like I'm like, sorry guys, like I need to get my personality back, like I'm so sorry, like I'm so bland, like depressed. Or I'm like, ah! I'm so sorry, like genuinely I'm thinking right now and I'm like, y'all are about to hate this video. What was I saying? Oh, I went to Office Depot last week and I tried to buy some boxes and they were trying to charge me $6 a box. I was like, who do you think I am? Jeff Bezos? Like, chill out, come on now. Uh, so we're headed to Home Depot because I think it's like $3, so we love saving money, living better. Two seconds later. <laughs> I need like I genuinely don't know how much I have you know I got 10 to start what else do I need I do need to paint the walls but that's not a task for today these boxes were only a dollar 58 what a steal we're saving five dollars a box so I'm gonna need to try to fit this all in my car I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I remember I struggled with it like two years ago when I was moving but All right, I think I learned my lesson to not buy the largest box because I bought medium and it fits perfectly. What the fuck? <laughs> is it because it thinks my key is in here? Yeah. Thank you so much. No 
I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Ah, everyone's been helping me at Home Depot. When I walked in there, the guy helped me figure out where I needed to go, and then I was trying to find a cart, and then a random guy just gave me his cart, and then I was in there, and, and then I was in line getting ready to check out, and the girl was like, oh my god, I love your tattoos. And then now this guy's grabbing my cart. I mean, it's their job, but at the same time, it's like they don't have to be extra nice, they just are. I love the little things. Literally nobody's on this road right now. I kind of have to do it. <laughs> oh, I love driving fast, but I don't do it because it's so unsafe. But there was a clear road for the first time in forever. Because if y'all don't know, LA always has so many cars and traffic. In Canada, there's like not that many people and like the highways are huge. So you can like zip super fast all the time. But drive safe. Don't actually do that. If you don't know, I feel like I have so many new viewers, which thank you so much. Like, I don't know how this is my life, but I got this car when I was 16 and I literally spent my entire bank account on this car. Like, I had no money left and I took out a loan using my brother um, because I bought this when I was like, what, 16, 15? And I didn't have my learners, I didn't have my license. I just walked into the Honda dealership and I saw this car in the used parking lot and I was like, I want it. And I dropped all of my YouTube money on it and I literally was broke. My 16 year old decisions weren't very smart. My 19 year old decisions aren't smart either, but like somehow we made it work out. I say we, but like it's more like you. Like you didn't like cancel me and you continue to watch my videos, so thank you. Yeah, and I've had this car for three years now and I don't think I'm ever gonna get a new car until like this actually breaks down because I actually am in love with this car and I feel like it holds so much like val sentimental value to me because I it was my first car and it like I love it and then my brother surprised me and got it wrapped for me I did not pay for the wrap by the way Ms. girl was 16 and broke he surprised me with it and we got it done for free which oh my god thank God, I love living in Edmonton. If you don't know, I used to live in Canada, obviously, but I lived in Edmonton for a year, Alberta, and I felt like I had like a community there. Like I got my car wrapped for free in Edmonton because like they were they were down to like support, like collab with a YouTuber that was from Edmonton, you know what I mean? A lot of people ask me if I'm ever gonna go back to Edmonton just because I feel like I have such like a big community there just cause I like grew up there and I went to high school there for a little bit too. And yeah, I will go back, but it's mad depressing there. Like I literally wanted to not be alive there. <laughs> And I was depressed and dropped out of school because I was so mentally ill. So I don't know if like Edmonton's really the place for me, but <laughs> I love the people there though. I need to stop talking. I feel like a lot of YouTubers have issues where like they don't have enough footage to like make a video. My problem is I never shut up and my videos end up being 30 minutes long and people probably get annoyed at me and they're like, all right, stop talking. Like get to the point. Like, are you moving or what? Like nobody came here for a podcast. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Okay, I got the boxes. I'm looking around my house and I'm like, I genuinely do not know where to start. And I feel like I have this issue every single time that I move. And even though I declutter my house every single month, no, every single week, I feel like I still have too much shit. I'm gonna go by the rule of if it's less than like 50 bucks and I haven't used it in the past month, I'm going to donate it, give it away, and then the day that I ever need it again, I'll just go buy it because it was less than $50. I watched a bunch of videos on minimalism and decluttering and that's what they said is that if you haven't used it within the past, whatever, just give it away because the more you hold on to something and say, well, what if I need it one day, the more clutter you'll have. And I just started practicing minimalism, not even, just like not over consuming, like maybe two months ago. So I haven't really bought any new clothes, maybe like one or two pieces and I have just been slowly getting rid of things. So this is just gonna be that to the max, especially with this new move. I feel like it's gonna be an external fresh start. So it's gonna be a lot easier too as well because I'm gonna try to start living more sustainably and stop using so much plastic packaging and stuff like that. So speaking of that, I've been collecting like bubble wrap and all this tissue from PR packages so that I wouldn't have to just like go buy more plastic to just throw away. Cause like buying bubble wrap, it's just literally the epitome of like being wasteful. I feel like the living room is too big of a start like it's gonna stress me out. So I'm gonna start with my room and then we're gonna go from there. This is what my room looks like right now. There's literally no vibe to it. I just threw a bunch of shit in my room and called it a day, like decorated it. I have lived in this house for a year, but I think it's the house that I cared about the least, which sucks because it's a beautiful home. But I was just like in a weird spot in my life when I moved here. So I just didn't put any like thought into decorating it. I kind of just threw up whatever I liked and it had like no personality. So this house never felt like a home to me. And I always felt so like eerie in it. And I've talked about it before, but like I honestly don't like hanging out in my house except for in my bed. Like my bed is the only homey place in this house like when I turn on all the lights, but this house just feels like a jail cell to me. It never felt warm. Like I never felt good in my house, which is so bad because you should, but it's a beautiful house. I just don't think that the vibe was right for me. I think that the concrete floors also don't help. They, there's no warmth in it. Anyways, so this room I tried to make super colorful, have like 
neon lights and stuff like that just so that I could like have something to look at I guess but honestly I didn't like love it that's the reason why I'm not doing a house tour is because I'm genuinely not like proud of my house and it doesn't feel like a home to me which sucks I've like gone through such a big transition in my life this past year in LA and I've like I think I've changed to obviously become like a better version of myself but there was no solid like me and it always was constantly changing so I never had like an aesthetic like y'all have seen how much my house has changed I just feel like this house was very weird y'all know what I mean did you like I know that you know what I mean I know that when you watch my videos you know what I mean when I say that this house doesn't feel good all right in all these bins I have a bunch of makeup skincare and just PR that I never use like obviously I love to use new products but it gets to a point where it's like too much and I on it I don't need a lot to like be happy with my makeup routine and stuff like that so I'm gonna ship this back home to Canada when I go back to Canada I want to make like little goodie bags I guess and then give them to the women shelters back in Canada, specifically Edmonton and Whitecourt, Alberta. I could give them here, but I just feel inclined to just give back to certain ones that I grew up in just because I, if you don't know, I haven't like really talked about it, but I just grew up in women's shelters, not actually, but I've spent a portion of my childhood in them. And I just feel like they helped raise me and they helped me become the person that I am today. And without them, like, I don't know where I would be. So I want to specifically give back to them. Um, Ew, like my eyes are literally watering, like shut up. Anyways, so I'm gonna ship this back to Canada. Oh my God, this is actually crazy heavy. All right, now I'm gonna do all of my books. I wanna bring them because like, I don't know why, but I love having a book collection. Okay, I just ate a little bit, but this is what we got going on right now. I have all of my books in here, and then this is what we have left of this, but I just feel like there's so much stuff everywhere right now that I'm kind of overwhelmed, but I think we're off to a good start. Like, do you see how full this box is, right? But then I have more stuff, and I'm like, what size box do I put it in? I feel like these are huge. I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna go to the dog park for a little bit because I feel like I need to get outside. I kind of want to get a rest so I can clear my mind, but something that I've been loving to read lately is this magazine. It's called Breathe Wellbeing. I saw it at Ralph's. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I picked it up and I started reading it. And it's so good. Like, I feel like it's like mindful books, like meditation books, all of it in one. And it's really easy to digest. Like, ew, the words that I'm saying. Can you tell that like the coffee's wearing down? Like, it just talks about going on walks and like certain things to look for whenever you go on a walk. Just like how to appreciate the world, learning to forgive. I don't know, like overcoming anxiety. And it's just like really small. It's really small sections. So you don't get bored really easily. And it just talks about things that like I've never really talked about. Like I've never really heard about before in a book, like savoring the moment and like how you can, because I feel like a lot of the times you read these like hefty books and it tells you to be grateful and you know appreciate nature and stuff but you're like okay so you go on a walk and you're like how do i do that but this like breaks it up in detail i don't know where you can buy it maybe i'll link below but y'all did not click on this video to like learn about a book did you let's go Ooh. bro what are they locking a dog park for i just drove 15 minutes for a dog park to be locked thank you yeah i don't know what famous is <laughs> I just got a little fruit cocktail. Uh, this place is called Nicole's Juicery. They're literally just like a food truck. And I come here pretty often. Cutting up mangoes and watermelon is like the most tedious thing ever. And like if I buy a watermelon and cut it up, I usually don't eat it all. Same thing with mangoes. Like they just ripen up so fast. So like every once in a while I'll get one of these. And then their watermelon juice. Oh my God. I've talked about it before. Watermelon juice is so good. And it just brings me back to Bali. The dog park was closed. And like it's kind of cold out. Oh my God. Coconut. I hate coconut. Y'all know I hate coconut. But I'm going to give it another chance. Like if I tell myself I like it, like I'll force myself to like it. Right? It's eatable, definitely eatable, but it's like, why would I? Kind of tastes like nothing, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go walk Sterling. Hello, everybody. So today I'm going shopping and I thought I would bring y'all along just cause like y'all love the shopping. Today is a very special day. I am meeting up with two very special people. Y'all ain't never met them before, but I'm meeting up with two very special people and I haven't seen them. Well, I have never met one of them, but I haven't seen one of them in like eight months, something like that. So we're gonna go shopping on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, California. Buy a little something something for gifts for them. Maybe I'll buy something for myself. 
We'll see. I don't know about that one, but I went to the gym this morning. Just ate a salad. Ugh. Anyways, like I don't usually be eating like arugula, you know what I mean? No, I love arugula, but like I never just be eating a salad. But lately, I've just been like buying the packages of salad, which I never usually do. Usually I'm like buying the romaine. I say I'm being an eco-friendly queen as I'm like literally buying pre-packaged salad. Nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Is it embarrassing that Justin Bieber was my number one artist? Not like the new Justin Bieber, by the way. I couldn't tell you one song off of his album except for Peaches and Stay. I'm talking about his old stuff, like Never Say Never, Somebody to Love, Confident. Confident was in my top five most played songs. It just like gets me in that mood, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm feeling insecure and like looking at myself in the mirror and going, ah, I just turn the song on and I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I feel like this conversation was going elsewhere. Oh! I was eating a salad. I'm like buying packages of salad because I just feel like whenever I'm hungry and I want a quick snack, I just end up ordering Starbucks or something or like just going out to eat, you know what I mean? But instead, I literally just cut the, 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 the package of the salad open. Do you guys care? Probably not, but I cut the package of the salad open halfway. I take the sauce out with like the Parmesan cheese and everything, throw the sauce in the bag, throw whatever else in the bag, and then I like hold it like this and I just <laughs> shake it. And then I can just stick a fork in it and just start eating it. Like it's super easy, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure those bags of salad are like for a family or whatever, but I eat the whole thing. Like I eat a salad while I'm cooking dinner so that I don't eat the dinner while I'm cooking the dinner. Wow, I talk too much. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready. I have a makeup tutorial on my channel, I think. I hope so. This morning I woke up and I did my eye makeup because I'm trying to like be that bitch. It's just like, I'm trying to show up as the person that I want to be. So like, you know, whenever you see those cool girls in the grocery store and they're like, wow, you look so put together. And they're in their little workout sets and they just like look cute. I want to be that girl instead of walking around with my hoodie and my sweatpants and my Crocs. I mean, like that is a vibe, but also at the same time, like I feel like I look like shite majority of the time. So it's like... I don't know where I was going like that. Like I just look like sh 24 seven. And it's like, I'll have the one day a week where I'll get ready and like, that's it. You know what I mean? And then I put so much pressure on myself. Oh my God, I talk too much. I thought my lunch was at 2.30. They just texted me and said it was at one. And I was like, oh, I am actually an idiot sometimes. So I gotta hurry up. And get ready. All right, so I didn't even get to show you my outfit because I'm late. Time is currently 12.06, but I still have to go shopping. My phone is also dead, so I don't really know where I'm going. I'm kind of just gonna drive and hope that I get there. I asked if we could push it to 1.30 though because I really wanna get these gifts and I wish that I wasn't such an idiot and I would like triple check the time because the amount of times that this happens to me is too many, but I put this in my hair to make it a little bit more voluminous. But my fit kind of go crazy. You know what I mean? Like I'll show you in a sec. This skirt is from Kim Shui. This is from Motel Rocks. And then I have a Your Mom Made It like bikini top underneath. But I kind of just wrap this around. I'm wearing one leg warmer. I don't know. I think it's cool. All right, so we switched it to 1.30. So I do have a little bit of time. But I think the first stop is gonna be Cartier because I wanna splurge. I wanna get them something nice. And like, I don't even own anything Cartier. So like, I'm getting it as a gift. You know what I mean? My friends always went in there and got stuff and I never could bring myself to do it. So it's so funny that I'm getting someone else it and not even myself. But it's cause like, I honestly don't really care. Like obviously I think it's nice, but like I could care less to spend my own money on it, but I can't appreciate it. That's the first stop. Hopefully they have something. When I looked online, it said low in stock. So I have no clue because if they don't, then I don't know. I don't have time to just be looking around, but we need to get something. But I'm so excited. My favorite thing is like getting gifts for other people. I could care less about getting gifts for myself. I think getting things for other people is like the most fun thing. That's why I keep like giving away things on my channels cause it's more fun shopping for you guys than shopping for myself. Hi! Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Have a good day! I just bought the gifts. I'm so excited. Yo, it was so bushy in there. They were treating me real good too. Like, you know how usually like you hear stories about people treating like people that walk into stores like shit. They were treating me real good, but I think it's cause like I wasn't in sweats. Cause if I was in sweats, it would probably be a different story, but. Oh my God, this is my first purchase ever at Cartier.
and it's not even for me. I saw some things in there that I loved, but I don't think I I don't know if I could ever buy it just because I'm like, you know how much money that is? Like I could spend that on so many trips. I could spend that on so much even though I spend a lot of money on rent. My rent is different. Like I live in that every single day, you know what I mean? Like like that's my home, that's my mental well-being, but like a ring, like I'm going to lose that shit. Like that's going to do nothing for me, but like I can definitely appreciate it maybe one day if y'all don't skip the ads, but I don't really know. I like buying it for people. Like I get the same sense of joy, but I don't have to buy it for myself. Like I can't wait for them to open it. I'm so so excited i love gift giving what should i give away to you guys like i have this problem where i spend money but not on myself on you guys like on my birthday i literally walked into apple and i bought three iphones so that i could give them away to y'all shout out to the winners you know why i love giving gifts so much is because like i literally remember being kicked out of my house sleeping in my friend's basement and having nothing and then you guys and like the people around me have helped me to where i am today and without you guys i wouldn't be where i am today so I just love giving back to y'all because without you, I literally wouldn't be where I am. I would still be sleeping in my friend's, oh my God, do y'all see this? I would still be sleeping in my friend's basement and like I'm giving these to the people that have helped me be where I am today as well and like I could never forget. So I think that's why I love giving giving so much is because I literally had nothing. Now I gotta go to my car, charge my phone because it's at 5% and we're gonna go to lunch and you guys are gonna meet two very special people. He wants to say hi. Say hi! <laughs> Anyways, I love you. I love you. Because without you, I wouldn't have been able to buy this to treat people. And don't worry, y'all. I'll do another giveaway soon. Let me know what y'all want. Hi. Thank you. Here's a tip. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. I have the very special people that I wanted y'all to meet. These are the people I wanted you guys to meet. These are my managers. She's been with me since I was like 16. So like when I was like the non-family friendly YouTuber and I was like, guys, I don't get brand deals or PR. Like she helped me. This is Charlie. Hey. And then we have Matt and Diana. They also helped me too. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce them because y'all don't understand the shit that goes on behind the scenes. I just finished lunch. Um, I know I didn't like vlog them opening the gift or anything like that because I don't know. I just felt like that's weird to just like stick a camera in someone's face, even though like I literally do that all the time. But like it just didn't feel right, you know, but I gave the gifts to them. It felt so good Oh, I literally love them. Like I love them love love them Like like without them my channel would not be where it is today I don't think you guys understand like the back end of everything that happened So whenever you see a brand deal like emails had to be answered contracts had to be signed all that stuff had to be done and Thank God I have them because without them like that would be my worry and that'd be my stress And then I wouldn't be able to put out good videos because that's something that I would have to stress about But they took that off my shoulders and they helped me so much with all that stuff So they allow me to be the person that I am because like if I had to stress about that stuff Like my personality would not be on par, you know I'd be stressing about that But like the only thing I have to do is be myself and then they take care of everything else Which I'm so glad but I'm about to head into the bank because I need to go pick up a check for my new lease Whoa, it's so gorgeous outside right now. Oh my God, some of the dogs are so gorgeous. My dream is to like live on 10 acres of land and have like six different dogs and a couple cats. But that is a dream for the far future because I can't travel with a bunch of dogs. Should I get a cat? I really want a cat. Should I get a cat? Let me know if I should adopt a cat. I'm thinking about it or a hamster. Those are two different things, but like I just want another pet, you know? I just found parking, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some bubble tea because I wanted something to drink and I was like, Ms. Girl, you get Starbucks way too often. Time to switch it up. So I'm gonna get some bubble tea. I'm gonna go home and pack after this because we need to get packing. I move in four days. Can I just get your guys' brown sugar bubble tea, please? Can I get almond milk by the chance? Yeah. What is your guys' favorite drink? Because I go through phases. Like oh, yeah. in September, I had my Shirley Temple phase and then I had my Mocha Tesora phase a couple months ago. Mocha Tesora from Phil's. I had my Peppermint Ice Mocha phase, which is still kind of happening from Starbucks. And right now I think I'm gonna get into a bubble tea phase. So what's your guys' favorite drinks? Let me know in the comments. You know what, instead of just drinking something and saying it's good, let's do a review. Okay, these bubble balls are very small. Like you can't even see the balls in here. Like. Was that gross? It's very small. The bubble balls aren't that good. They should be like bigger and chewier, you know? The drink itself is good. I don't know, I feel like I need to taste more bubble tea to like, to be able to like differentiate it, you know what I mean? Like I'm not a bubble tea connoisseur yet. 
it's a little bit later. Got home, changed into some pajamas. These are from Nawai. I've worked with them before. This is not sponsored. They're actually the only pajamas that I own. And I don't own sweatpants anymore because I want to try to like wear outfits more. You know what I mean? So I just kept one pajama set so that I like could wear a pajama set and feel cute. You know what I mean? Feel put together at night instead of just wearing sweats all the time. Anyways, my house is a mess. I have all this trash that I still haven't taken out. I know, disgusting. We got to continue packing. I'm going to be packing like every single day. So I'm going to try to make it fun, but bear with me, okay? Another box. Holy shit. Oh my God. I just broke my back. Unfortunately, by myself. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I really hope you don't. This is definitely going to cost me like 200 bucks to ship. Oh my God. Oh my God. When she has so many books to ship. Oh my God. This right here is the coolest thing ever. I'll link it on Amazon if y'all want it. I'm not gonna bring it with me. I love it. It does spark me joy, but I just feel like it's time to be retired, you know? Like, let me show you. Is this not freaking amazing? Low key, I kind of want to bring it now that I just looked at it. But like, this kind of does spark a lot of joy in me. People always ask like, is this real jellyfish? No, no, it's not. You know what? This does spark a lot of joy. I'm gonna bring it. This sparks me a lot of joy. I have this huge fat lava lamp, which I love, but I can't transport it because like, it's just gonna break if I try to. So. I'm just gonna not bring this with me, but it is very cool though. the next morning i didn't end the vlog yesterday but that's it for today's vlog i'm vlogging every single day so i'm about to continue and film tomorrow and if you guys want like real-time updates because this is a little bit delayed so if you guys want to see like my apartment and stuff before youtube does follow my instagram but i will see you in tomorrow's video peace